The EFF in Gauteng acknowledged Premier Panyazale Sufi's announcement of the new Gauteng Executive Council after what they described as an extensive negotiation process among political parties following the May 29th national and provisional elections. On Wednesday night, Lesufi introduced a provincial executive predominantly composed by ANC MECs, along with a representative from the Encanta Freedom Party, Patriotic Alliance, and the Rising Mzansi. Nkululeko Kodunga, the EFF Gauteng Provisional Chairperson, said, We commended the ANC's Gauteng bravery in resisting the DA's bullying tactics and their exaggerated sense of importance and entitlement to the government positions in the province and nationally despite raising discontent from its national leadership, end of quote. However, the EFF criticized the reappointment of familiar NC leaders to government positions, which they believe does not reflect the dissatisfaction of Gauteng voters. Dunga expressed disappointment over the reappointment of ANC leaders, suggesting it is driven by internal ANC patronage and a faction appeasement rather than selection of credible individuals to serve, the, to serve Gauteng. He argued that this approach perpetuates issues like unemployment, high crime rates, deteriorating infrastructures, and a failing economy, housing shortages, poor health care, and insufficient educational spaces. Dunga also lamented that the same MEC who failed in their previous roles have been rewarded with the new government positions, indicating that the ANC is not serious about improving the people's conditions. He reaffirmed the EFF's readiness to govern, believing that their capable and dedicated leadership is best suited to advance the people's interests and aspirations. Despite respecting the voters' will, Dunka emphasized the EFF's role as effective opposition to hold the current executive accountable and to continue the fight for economic freedom. On Wednesday night, it was reported that Rising Zan's national chairperson, Boyiswa Ramogopa, and the IFP Bongekosin Lovu, and the Patriotic Alliance Sheila Mary Peters were appointed as MEC in Lefsufi's provisional executive. The new members of the self provisional administration signed their oath in Johannesburg, establishing the government of provisional unity. Notably, parties like the Democratic Alliance, EFF, Umkondor Sizwe, Action SA, and the Blue One South Africa were not included in Lesofi's provisional executive. <laughs>